Good evening, I'm Riley Phillips. Dayton is getting ready to welcome teams and fans for the first four and businesses are preparing for the boost it brings. Two News reporter Allison Gens is in the studio with the economic impact the first four brings to the Miami Valley. Allison. Riley, the first four kicked off today with a big hoopla, bringing people into Dayton for community events and businesses expect that momentum to continue all week long and even through the NCAA tournament. We knew today was going to be busy. Yesterday was busy. Uh, you know, we got the NCAA tournament coming up with the first four over here. Milano's on Brown Street was packed with UD fans Sunday. And Assistant General Manager Chad Coppin says he expects these seats to be filled with basketball fans all month long. We plan to be busy Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, all week, packed house. Dayton is hosting the first four games once again this year. This part of the tournament held in Dayton for more than a decade. We notice every year um, how much more popular the first four games become. So we're really proud of that. And we, you know, we take a lot of credit for being able to elevate elevate the games. Between the two days of games and the big hoopla events that kick off the week, Big Hoopla director Sarah Spees says it's brought a lot of money into the Dayton region. Since 2001, the NCAA basketball tournament has generated more than $80 million in direct economic impact. Spees says it also extends beyond that because the hoopla and first four games put a national spotlight on the city of Dayton. It really is an economic driver for our community. It showcases what you what a great stand of living there is here and Milano staff are ready to welcome crowds from all over the country into the restaurant. That's going to bring in a lot of business for us. The big hoopla also started to honor the region's military members since 2012. Nearly 45,000 tickets have been donated to airmen at Wright Patterson Air Force Base, veterans and local students in the studio. Alice again, two news.